Hello Aurelius Knights and welcome to a weekly speed drawing, although I haven't done one for a few weeks. Um, anyways, this is a character by a Frederator member named Van Chato, or Chato, or, yeah. Anyways, um, this is his character Fuchsia Sparks, and um, things have been kind of weird lately. You can watch my last um, update drawing talk to, to see what's been going on, but um, uh, this drawing pretty much gave me some trouble. Usually I sketch, you know, within Flash and I'm able to come up and do whatever it is that I need to do. But in this particular instance, I wasn't really able to uh, figure out the pose and what it was that I wanted and nothing was really coming out. I mean, I sat and I sketched for probably maybe a few hours trying to, you know, figure out the flow and the pose, but everything about it just felt really stiff and mechanical. I don't know, this is one of the rare instances where I haven't been able to pull off a pose that I really like. You can see here that I'm reworking the entire thing, trying to figure out what I want, but just working in Flash wasn't working. <laughs> working in Flash wasn't working. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I decided to go the traditional route and needed to go and just sketch, and I felt way better about how this turned out. So I scanned it into Flash, or scanned it in, and then imported it, imported it into Flash, and then decided to clean it up, and I'm way happier with how it turned out. The cleanup actually came out a lot better than I thought it would. I love the flow of the lines and how everything just came together because, uh, I don't know. And as some may notice, this is one of the first drawings that I've done in maybe years that doesn't have my normal uh, sketchy style because usually I try to add like a lot of cross hatching and whatnot to the piece, but um, in this drawing, I decided not to do that, and I feel like it's a lot stronger. Uh, I recently made an Instagram, and I've been following a couple other artists who do just black and white work. I don't know, I noticed that they don't use a lot of crosshatching. They do use crosshatching, but I'm starting to like the way that the drawings look with just, you know, the solid lines, and then adding uh, a lot of black, you know, shadows and stuff to it and then I won't add too much cross hatching and it, it doesn't show up in the video but in the finished piece once you see it uh, you can see that I did add I don't know if it's cross hatching or whatever but you can see right now in the back there are some you know just uh, straight lines in the back of her coat or her her kimono or dress I think it adds a lot of depth and character to it but I I thought it was interesting that I didn't really use my sketchy style which is I don't know, I think that might be the direct the direction that I want to go now with my artwork is not to add so much. I feel like all of the sketchiness kind of distracts from the overall piece because I also know that in Ben the Loonies, the Dexter cat design, I didn't use any cross hatching or, you know, little squiggles and everything around it and it came out pretty good. Felt like it's a little cleaner and stronger, I guess, since there isn't so much of a distraction of all the, you know, lines and doodles all over the place. I don't know. It's uh, something that I'm messing around with, but right now I'm really happy with how it looks. So yeah. Um, also right here with all the green hair, I think it looks really cool. I don't know. I, I like this character with green hair, but then again, that's just me. But once I turn the black or, or turn the, all the, ah, wow, can't speak this morning. Anyways, once I turn all of the green black, it still looks really good, and I like the graphic quality that it has. And I almost want to keep the sketch underneath it because I like how that adds almost another dimension. Like, it adds texture, you know, to the drawing. I don't know. I'm rambling. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Morning, everybody. How you doing? Or, actually, for me, it's morning. You might be watching this at night or in the afternoon, but, uh, yeah. What's up? How you doing? Pretty good. Rocking. Rocking. So, anyways, yeah. So, right now, cleaning up.
these little like stray hairs that I added I've seen in other drawings but I've never really never really tried it and I think it came out pretty cool I actually dig the way it looks I think it might be one of the things that added the layer and the dimension to the drawing that allowed me not to need the rest of the squiggles I don't know it just adds something to it a little you know je ne sais quoi I don't know yeah yeah so and right now I am masking out the back of her coat so that I can add the lines which I made earlier in Flash and um, I just don't add it during this piece because all of those lines are just using the line tool and copy and pasting them and it covers the entire page but since it's uh, masked it'll only show up in the back of her coat but it makes Flash chug like crazy so I was like nope can't have that so I took it out and added it you know in post right is that right post is afterward I don't know yeah so I feel like all of the colors and everything came together pretty well in this drawing the only thing I don't know if you can tell well it's too early to tell but later on in the finished piece the only thing I would have done differently was to have a more of a contrast in the colors um, so that there's a focal point I should have maybe made her face lightened or added just like a highlight on her face of a different color so that it would stand out and kind of draw your eye directly to her face first because in the finished piece I think there isn't really a focal point and uh, yeah I just wish I focused a little bit more on the face to give it focus. Yeah. So one thing I notice watching this again that I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like with the, the shadows and the way that they're coming together, especially on the face, this drawing looks like an anime cell. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to toot my own horn or whatever, but I'm just saying it looks pretty good. I was like, whoa, this looks like a legitimate looking anime. Or maybe I'm just, I don't know, blowing smoke up my own, you know, just, I, I, I feel like you might get what I'm trying to say. Maybe, maybe not, but yeah, all that to say that I... I really enjoy that the the way that the shadows and everything came out looks pretty good came out pretty decent considering that whenever I do shadows I have no idea what I'm doing you know I especially like how the sleeve came out like that um, kind of little arc that comes out of the middle I didn't even mean for that to happen like if you look at the original sketch that's not there and once I um, I set the the shadows to overlay it looks really cool and I was like hey it actually looks like it should be there or at least to me it looks right it might not look right to anybody else but uh, looks right to me so yeah I'm still trying to you know play around and mess around with the way that I shadow everything and I'm trying not to just add shadow on you know the left side or the right side and I'm trying to make it look a little more dynamic um, I feel like I'm kind of succeeding but I still have a long way to go before I'm really really happy with um, how everything turns out and so here I'm just messing around with the different colors in the overlay to see which shadows work and fit the best um, and if there's another thing that I realize it's um, I should have added a little more highlighting to the rest of the piece because I add it only to like the left side and I feel like I should add it to the other side to add some rim lighting or some yeah right rim lighting um, but I didn't really do that which is okay but anyways here's the finished piece um, I'm really happy with it because it's also one of the first pieces that I've actually brought into Photoshop and used a gradient and a texture on which I think I'll prob um, probably do more but um, yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out definitely check out um, Vanchado 
Vanchat. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but it's here on the screen so you can see, but definitely check out his work. I'll have links and everything in the description below. Anyways, definitely give his channel a look, a watch, and a subscribe because he has some amazing work. Oh yeah, and also, here is a look at his version of Rel Rel that he did. He did a really good job. I love how the shadows and everything came out. It makes her look freaking epic. Really nice. So yeah, thanks everybody so much for watching. And uh, that was my speed video. And I will be back next week or something with, uh, yeah, with another speed drawing or something else. Um, yep. Anyways, you all rock. Thanks again. Bye.